Hi everyone, this is E, the Empty Nether. How are you to doing today? I thought I'd share with you some plants that I found um, the other day. We stopped at a store and um, I'm not normally one that dumpster dives, but these guys were just, you know, sticking out of the dumpster and I couldn't let them be, you know, thrown away for trash. I got that and then I got two of these hanging plants here and I thought I'd make a quick video and um, let you know what kind of bargain this was or what a wonderful find this was. This, um, can't seem to find the plant, the flower right now, but there it is. This used to be a purple um, flower and in the back I've got another one that's a white flower and these say that they were a summer basket that they could have been. Hi Nietzsche, <laughs> good to see you. I hope you're doing well today. Hi Bree, good to see you too. But um, I thought I'd share with you, uh, you know, my free find and you know, it's rain here shortly or, you know, supposedly it's going to rain. Um, thank you, Nietzsche. But um, I'm in the past, my husband used to dumpster dive and, you know, he was a scrapper. You know, he collected metals and, you know, it was kind of embarrassing. But, you know, for me, it was like, no, save them, save them, save them. <laughs> Don't you love free stuff? I'm a total recycler. Yeah, Brie, I do love free stuff. You know, technically, this swing right here is free stuff, too. But, um, you know, I didn't get that out of a dumpster. And... There was no way that I could get those hanging baskets. Sorry about moving you so fast out myself. So I had to make my husband get out and pull <laughs> pull them out. But um, look at this. You know, this is free food, and this is a uh, um, musk melon and spaghetti squash and um, what's that called right there? <laughs> Sorry, we disconnected a little bit there but what i've been doing is um some water you know i'm trying to rehydrate them um yeah sorry um this one is um let's see wonderland deep purple alyssum i think that's a ground cover and this one is the worst for wear this one is a bengonia but there's still hope you know for that little guy this one needs the most doctrine. And then um, geraniums and let's see, what is this right here? Uh, watermelon. You know, can't beat that. <laughs> you know, but I'm going to try little by little to get them, you know, on the flowering things I'll put on the fence line in the grow bags. And then the vining things I have to put in the ground. And... You know, little by little, I'm going to get them in there. Let me grab one of these guys. And these are all going to rebloom. Look at the, right there is a bud, you know, for a new plant to grow. And right there on that, it's a bud, you know, so they're still alive. But, you know, I'm sure, you know, people don't want to pay, you know, brand new money for, you know, plants that kind of look like this. So, um, they get to have, you know, a good life here as long as I can keep them going and keep them alive. But on the fence line there, the baskets is what I was talking about. I'm going to put them in there and get them watered on. Let's see. What does Nietzsche say? Yeah, top dollar, you would say. Yeah, no one, even 50%, I don't know. You know, I would pay, I don't know if I'd pay 50% or not, but, um, because I'm not, um, you know, one that normally buys annuals. These are annuals. And, um, a perennial I would give possibly more money for, but I made the mistake one year. They had, um, what's that called? This has got a root holding it in. They had, a uh, um, tulips, I think it was down to five cents a piece at like the local hardware store and um 
you know, I bought like two or three flats at five cents a piece and not one of them came back up. So tulips are not easy to, um, are not easy for me to keep going or keep alive. But, you know, I got that guy in there and it's going to do well. And I wonder if I should put the other one in just a grow bag over here. Where that one I've got the soil in the material. This one, yeah, I'll just pull some of this out and put the other one in the grow bag. You know, I know you all um, know how to plant things. So if you want to ask any questions or say anything, you know, I don't mind, you know, talking with you as I walk back and forth and get a little bit done. And I'm really excited that I can do a little bit at a time. You know, I did well, at, you know, the last few days staying off my feet and keeping things going and, or keep, not going, um, not doing things, but I got out the clippers, as you can see, and I didn't bend over, I just clipped, you know, some of that stuff out. It says, time to do a dumpster dive once they toss them. Yeah, um, please I'm not gonna, you know, I'm doing pretty good at not hurting myself. <laughs> you know, I've been amazed at um, how much, you know, it's just a little, you know, like baby steps, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. But, um, you know, when I went to the doctor, they did like a, a test on me to see if, you know, I was okay. And, um, you know, there was no hernias, but... I have to build up my muscles because I had no clue that, you know, like if you do sit-ups, there's no way I could do a sit-up. I don't have the muscles for that. It says, need to get you a gravel pathway. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually, I have a carpet pathway, but um, the grass has grown in it, you know. These are little carpet squares here, <laughs> you know. And my husband hates it, but I'm going to move them. You know, they're stuck in the ground, <laughs> but um, what's that called? I'm going to move them to the back to the greenhouse as soon as I get them cut out of the ground or something. And, you know, I'm glad you could laugh. You know, look at that bud. You know, that flower is going to grow. And, and actually, you know, once you take off the stuff, the leaves here, it's going to be a pretty healthy plant. And you'll never know it was doomed for the dumpster you know should i call my garden a second hand garden yeah hi john i can't do setups or pull-ups now or when i was 10. <laughs> yeah but um <laughs> hi jean good to see you too <laughs> you know sorry about laughing but you know i guess i can either so i guess that was a bad test you know, for the guy to, um, I don't know, maybe the doctor was trying to make me feel normal or, I don't know, make me feel okay. You know, I'm not sure, but they, um, you know, you're laying down and they want you to raise both feet up at the same time. And I had no clue I could not raise both feet up. And then he said one at a time and I could, you know, raise one at a time. So, you know, that muscle, you know, possibly is something that's, you know, not back, you know, working yet, but look at the roots on that. It looks good. But we'll get that one in the grow bag. And, you know, like I said, I know you guys know how to plant plants, but I'm just bringing you along for the chat as I save them. A reverse setup. Yeah, that's true. I never thought about that. But, you know. I'm just glad that, um, you know, I can move one leg up and down at a time, build up the lower abs. I can't do that yet, you know, or at least he didn't say I could do that yet. But it was just, you know, his way, I guess, of making me feel, I don't know if that was supposed to make me feel good or bad, you know, that I couldn't do it or I could do it. You never know what doctors, you know, what their um, purpose is. You know, because the one doctor came in and looked at my stomach and says, Oh, your stomach looks beautiful. And I'm like, oh my God. But only a surgeon would be happy with all his own work. <laughs> yeah, at least I tried. You're right. <laughs> but, um, you know, they gave me, a, you know, they said I was doing well enough that I can start doing, a, you know, a little more things. And then, 
Um, after the 21st, you know, when I go back, uh, I'll know if um, they're going to take any more of the top of the suture, you know, where they um, tied it together. And <laughs> should I put ground in a basket or just let it fight for its life w among the weeds? I guess I should try putting it in the basket. Let's see, Nietzsche, what did you say? Like a B-roll before you crawl. Yeah, you know, that's what I'm doing now, walking, you know, because they said that I could walk all I wanted. So, you know, I'm trying the walking, but, you know, I don't know if you guys are tired of looking at the ground or you want to look up <laughs> and see what's happening, you know, as we walk. What's well, amazing too, the mulberries back there are, some of them are getting ripe and the birds are already having at it, you know, getting the mulberries off the bush. And there goes one right there. But, you know, I'm just excited that, you know, I had no hope of gardening and I'm gardening. <laughs> you know, I guess I don't listen to all either. You know, let's see, we'll go ahead and put this little guy in here. Let's see, I'm not sure if alyssum is just a stand-up plant or if it rolls over like the, the hanging basket. We'll put it in and bury it deeper and give it a little bit of legginess. You've been an inspiration to me. Um, this is East, I mean Nietzsche speaking for a while so take your time and doing things oh thank you Nietzsche you're an awesome friend you know and, oh yeah. your comments all of your comments you know really inspire me to keep going and keep trying but um oh should I put all these in here might as well I don't have anything else to put in here and that way I can just keep them all in one container and keep them going and let's put this up there <laughs> is that a laugh or a smile let's see if I can dig this one down deeper and pot it on last one goes here so maybe I'll call this my second hand garden this year Smiley nerdy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate the interpretation. Uh, what do you call it? Some of the emojis are way too small for me to make out. You know, and oh, I guess that's all I'm going to do for now and sit down and take a break. Um, here's the other hanging basket. This is the one that possibly has white flowers in it. And as you can see, it's got a lot of brown that you just, you know, pull off, clip off, or something. But I really don't have, these are sun plants, and I do have a shepherd's hook in the weeds over there to um, dig out that I've got a bird feeder on. But um, I have no clue other than, you know, um, I could put them on these hooks up here. This is sunny also. And then I can't myself take the weight and put up there. So have to get hubby to do that. You know, what do you think? Hang the baskets here. These containers here, I did the upside down tomato plants in them. If you look underneath there, the tomato plants um, came out of the hole here, and that was a bad idea. They came out, and then roots were trying to grow on them from all the water, and then they kept trying to turn upside down. The tomatoes were not happy, you know, being upside down. So it's better to do things, you know, the tomatoes might have done better coming out the side rather than the upside down tomatoes. You know how people come up with bright ideals and it hits off and then everybody tries it kind of like potato towers don't work either you know but um that was a fail and um you know i'm keeping the containers and then like i said it would be good to you know just do it on that side or um you know just repurpose them as planters 
let's see if I can turn this around so you guys can be shocked to see me in person. <laughs> hey, <laughs> yeah, it's me, <laughs> you know. Today is really a hot day here in Missouri. It's like um, 90, 91, and I looked at the map, and even California is cooler than we are. Hi, Nietzsche. Are you in the 90s, too? <laughs> you know. Yeah. It's um, amazing. Um, Texas, it's kind of like Texas up to um, Canada almost. Yeah, so he's got the 90s there, too. But um, I have no clue why we're so hot and humid. And all the east and west coasts are 60s, 70s. You know, it's kind of like we need to move to the coast, and even Florida is cooler than we are today. You know, and um, I'm just amazed at this weather. John, you're probably cool over there, too. Topsy turvy work, but they have to be watered throughout the day or the roots will dry out. Remember, I'm in a flooding area. Um, mine were watered and watered and watered. Yeah, 60s over there. Sorry, it looks like reconnecting I'm gonna sit down sorry I make noise when I sit and stand you know but um oh take a break and later you know what helps is you know putting a cushion down and sit on your butt to put something in the ground because technically squash and cantaloupe and melon need to be a ground um, plant or um, my daughter gave me some more five-gallon buckets. Um, John, 60s, really? Um, yeah, you know, he's a coastal state, too. You know, we need to move east and west. You know, I was talking about that today. It's kind of like, um, since the blood thinners, um, I'm freezing in the winter. I can't handle the cold, and now I can't handle the heat. You know, and I don't want to spend my life in that inside in the air conditioning but um you know it's kind of like um where do we move <laughs> we need to all get an island where it's 60 70 degrees year round no rather than <laughs> be in the middle yeah but um wow you know i don't know that illinois is as hot or as humid you know as um, Missouri, you know, I know some parts are, you know, going across the river. Nietzsche. Um, what's that called? Arizona's probably hot, but I didn't see it on the weather map as being hot. They're normally fire hot, <laughs> you know, or some parts of Arizona were fire hot, you know, Tempe and things like that. Okay, so you don't have the humidity there in your part, Nietzsche. Silk's here to visit with us again. She's over here sitting in your seat. I don't think I can get past the plant to show you. You know? Yeah, muggy. It's kind of like extremely muggy, you know. But it's muggy there in your state, too. But, um, I don't know. This weather, or this year's kind of crazy weather, we're behind a month, or we're missing spring. We had a spring for about an hour, <laughs> you know? I like to make the joke, we had spring for about an hour this year. But, um, you know, and drinking coffee. Yeah, I've drank my share of coffee today, too. It's nice to be able to drink coffee. Yep. But, um... What are you guys up to? You know, I was going to do some more of the family tree research, you know, showing pictures and stuff like that, because I've got a lot of history that you might be interested in seeing. You know, even though it's not your family, it's kind of a part of history. And um, I've been looking for it. My um, aunt, um, no spring went from winter snow to 80s and bugs. Oh man, you didn't get spring either. That's crazy. I think, you know, it possibly happened all over that everybody's missing spring this year.
but I don't know about the north. You know, if Canada or close to Canada got spring or not yet. Jeannie says um, the rain and drinking coffee too. So it's raining in your state. What state are you in, or do you mind saying what state? Because we seem to have somewhat of the same weather pattern too, or getting a lot of the same. Kentucky, okay. Um, got chased out of the new drone shed, way too hot. Yeah, I thought you needed air conditioning down there, near Louisville. Louisville is beautiful. Um, I've drove, um, I think it's 64 through Louisville on the way to Kentucky many times. And at nighttime, it's kind of like purple, um, bridge, you know, from the bridge crossing over into um, Louisville. And it's like neon purple shows up in the skyline or at the time, you know, the one time that I went there, through there, at night, you know, I saw all this purple, and I, I'm not sure if they've got riverboat casinos or what they have down there on the waterfront, but it was beautiful. And then, um, it says, time for a bucket, AC. Good luck. Um, you need that blowing right on you. <laughs> you know, I built the bucket AC, too, and we're too humid. You know, you, you it, what do you call it? The, um, has to blow right in your face to be cool enough to cool you off here in Missouri. Sorry if you're not reading the comments and, you know, hearing me answer the question at the same time. But, um, yeah, it's true, you know, because I have one you can borrow if you want to try it, you know. I already tried that experiment, you know, but it works well in Canada. Troll Forge did it up there and I guess it's not humid up there in Canada. It works well up there. And um, possibly other places where the humidity is not high. Um, in the 60s, some miles south of... You're in the 60s? Wow, nice. You know, I would like to see 60s right now. You know, I got my hair in a ponytail and it's still not cool enough. It's almost like, you know looking forward to sitting here in the rain and then you know cool off that way I haven't had a rain shower you know in a while yeah you know now it's safe for me to just you know let the sky open up and drown us <laughs> with rain you know but um I guess you know I don't know what else to say other than um, need to get the rest of the plants in the ground. Step, set up the sprinkler. Um, that's too much bending over for me. Can't do that yet. I know it's, you know, wine, 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 yes, no, complain. <laughs> you know, I uh, can't do the sprinkler. Because any moment now, hopefully it'll rain. And if I get desperate enough, I'll go and jump in the shower, <laughs> you know. Have the hubby do it. He's inside laying down right now. He's not feeling well. It's, um, I don't know. He's saying body aches and headaches. So, you know, I don't know really what's going on. You know, if it could be a cold coming on or what. Want some cheese with that wine? Yeah, please. You know, I like cheese. <laughs> you know, cheese is one of my favorites, you know. But, um, <laughs> you know, I'm not good at wine, you know. Just complain and whine and complain and whine, <laughs> you know, and laugh, you know, time for a laugh, you know. But um, I found something really funny and, um, what do you call it, in the um, ancestry things that I've got collected. It was kind of a note that either my mom, my aunts, one of them wrote, you know, and um, I'll read it to you the next time that I do an ancestry thing and then... Um, <laughs> thanks. It's fun to be laughing. And then, uh, letter, the hospital wrote to my grandpa, and I've got a driver's license for all my grandpa's, um, driver's license all the way back to probably the first time he ever had to get a driver's license. You know, I've got all kinds of treasures. And then 
I've got, I have no clue where it, where it is. It's packed away still somewhere, but um, World War II um, military um, metal helmet, you know, and I think it's German, but I'm not sure, you know, if the our side wore, you know, metal helmets too. Uh, it's all rusted and stuff like that, and I'm not going to restore it. I'm just going to keep it like it is and, you know, pass it on to whoever's the historian in the family, you know, or whoever becomes the historian in our family. But um, I was given that the keeper of the family, I guess, you know, I was lucky that people sent me things. Sorry, I'm picking out some of the things on this plant as we speak that need to be pulled off. But the birds are all out chirping too, you know, and then, you know, I don't know if you guys really want, you know, oh, okay, <laughs> do you have the history all the way back to the <laughs> Nietzsche, <laughs> that's funny, <laughs> you know, but, um, oh, I'm looking forward to when our actual farmers markets start opening up to get some of our stuff you know actual locally grown stuff here comes the paparazzi in the sky too you know we've got a small aircraft um he's too you know going that way towards Nietzsche's house so I could have copped a ride to St. Louis you know on that one you know or he's going around the airport and coming back in but um, my grandson met another YouTuber down here at the local McDonald's and um, uh, do not wish for the burn to start. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's called Beans Garden or something like that. And he's um, makes, made his own little um, two-person aircraft and we were supposed to meet you know, before I got sick last year and do a video together and, you know, maybe sometime this year that'll happen, you know, where he'll come into the airport here or, you know, maybe he'll fly over and then we'll meet him, <laughs> you know, but it's fun to, you know, actually meet some of the, you know, YouTubers in person, you know, the Missouri YouTubers are local ones, but, um, you know, I'm not sure what else to talk about today without changing the subject because I already went from saving plants to ancestry and talking about the weather, you know, and what do you call it? Sometimes in airports, <laughs> drone flying, yeah, um, Nietzsche's one for drones. Um, if you guys want to learn anything about drones, you know, building them and modifying them and He's the channel to go to, you know. He's really good at them. And then someday I need to, you know, get Jeremy's drone out and learn to fly too. You know, first up, <laughs> you know, you're welcome. You know, first up is a drone. The next step is actually flying. You know, build my own airplane so I can fly all over. <laughs> you know, but um. You never know, maybe someday that'll happen. But I didn't take aircraft and power mechanics. I kind of wish I would have took small engine repair in high school though. I took offset lithography in North County Tech and that's, um, you know, running a printing press, you know, and working in the um, bindery, you know, taking photos and turning them from negatives to positive and making the plates to, pr you know, print, you know, on, but I visited a number of um, classes in 10th grade before I decided what to do in 11th and 12th and you know um, so what's stopping you I don't know you know um, right now I need um, what's the call I know what's wrong I've got a weed whacker that's a push behind and every year the what's the called carburetor goes out as a con a Tecumseh motor for a rebuild kit and 45 to get it rebuilt, you know, that you might, what is, okay, that you said drums, but you said drones. <laughs> that was funny. Sorry, it's my accent, you know, but I didn't know I had an accent, you know, I guess I do have an accent. 
I kind of got a combination of Missouri and West Virginia in my tones because I was talking to my brother a couple days ago and I noticed he has an accent too and it, I don't know if it's from not hearing people in St. Louis anymore or from um, you know he's six years younger than me but he was talking about a radio and I say it radio R-A-Y and R he says R-E-D radio and I had no clue in my own family we have two accents <laughs> you know and and I know my mom still talks, you know, West Virginia. Did you say window or window or window? I say window, you know. I also say wash, where a lot of people say wash. You know, and uh, one of the kids, <laughs> you know, pointed that out to me. He's actually, he was actually born in Poland. He um, lived with us when he was um, 10th grade. You know, um, we did some foster care and he pointed out that I said wash wrong that I was supposed to say wash <laughs> you know wash and it's kind of it was funny hearing um someone with a Polish accent say wash <laughs> you know no offense to you know other people's accents but you know now I guess we're into accents <laughs> you know but a lot of us talk the same way from hearing things on TV you know watching the same programs and um it, yeah. <laughs> who's that um sue hi thanks <laughs> good to see you you know i think we went from um saving plants into accents now or i did <laughs> talk about off subject <laughs> you know but um i think it's fun you know learning from each other and um catching myself too with um sorry I don't know if it's the humidity, it's got a blur on the video there, but um, we went down, everything goes, yeah, you're right. <laughs> um, we, My sister-in-law went and I took a trip, um, it was like a two-week trip, we went to, um, we went through Oklahoma and then into, um, or no, we went through Arkansas and stopped at Hot Springs and really enjoyed it down there and then went into um, Texas and spent a day with a fellow blogger. You know, I used to do blogs. Sorry, I'm going to wipe the screen and see if that clears you up. <laughs> Did I scare you? <laughs> you know, um, I like listening to the different accents. I do too. You know, um, in Canada, they somehow have an accent that kind of goes with someone I heard in Virginia. And um, Troll Forge has the same, um, I can't remember if it's an O sound as another person in Virginia. Eee. <laughs> yeah, but um, I, sorry, I lost my story, but... Um, we went into Mississippi from Houston, and then we went to um, Louisiana, and they were calling us uplanders down there, and they, um, what do you call that, they were making fun of us, and um, you could hear all kinds of accents down there, you know, in um, Louisiana, we, um, it wasn't Mardi Gras time, it was like March. I think it was the month of March, and um, it was after the hurricane hit, so we got some really inexpensive rooms and went on, uh, what's that called, a uh, swamp tour. It was really fun. Then went into um, Alabama and Dauphin Island. Beautiful, beautiful white sand down there, but all you could see was oil rig, oil rig, oil rig, and took a ferry out of there and then went up to Fort Payne, Alabama. And, uh, I forgot about Birmingham. We stopped at Birmingham for a little while, you know, just a quick in and out. And um, I forgot what it was. We saw something historical there. And then Fort Payne was beautiful. I called home and said, I'm not coming back. <laughs> you know, it was um, DeSoto State Park. And we got a log cabin on five acres and porch swing on the back. And beautiful wonderful place and they've got what's called um the small grand canyon there and it was like rock outcrops and formations all over the place you know 
here I am taking you on my vacations now. <laughs> I need to get the pictures out and show you what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, beautiful. You know, if you can ever go to Fort Payne, Alabama, it's a place to go to again. And then Georgia and um, Kentucky, no, Georgia, Alabama, and Tennessee all come together in a certain area there. And, you know, beautiful mountains and up to Tennessee to Murfreesboro to Anissa's house and then back to Missouri you know wonderful two weeks you know and what's great you know we did it in a car and split the gas split the expenses and it was pretty reasonable to do a trip like that you know I must that uh, you know need to find somebody that's um you know, into road trips again and take a road trip. You know, so uh, any other ideas that you guys want to talk about? Accents, you know, uh, accents turned into a road trip. <laughs> you know, but um, let's see, going to post a video on how I make a video out of pictures. And then road trip to Illinois. Um, when I, next time I make it up to St. Louis, you'll may have to make a road trip to St. Louis, Nietzsche, you know, because I, um, still can't drive for a while, <laughs> you know, um, all I can do, <laughs> you know, is, um, catch a train, you know, for right now, up to, um, what's that called, Kirkwood, <laughs> and spend a little bit of time up there, but, um, maybe someday, you know, I don't know if the train takes you to close to your house either but I don't know um oh I even have an accent in Arizona they were making fun of me saying duck you know d-e-c-k duck you know they were like <laughs> they were, you know I said you know a porch without a roof you know I had to clarify what a duck was you know because apparently I had an accent on that <laughs> that one too but um, there's a lot of people around here too. Even my grandson Jeremy, you know, he has a he had an accent too, cause he um, what do you call that? Um, he had to stock the shelves, and I'm like, stock? How do you stock the shelves? You know, and um, <laughs> um, I have no clue. I haven't seen him since he graduated, just one time, <laughs> you know. But um, he was saying um. Uh, stock s-t-o-c-k stock the shelf and he was calling it stock you know like s-t-a-l-k stock the shelves you know so him coming from st louis and i think first or second grade you know he grew the accent from the locals down here you know and there's a couple accents down here too you know not all the same accent so it's a lot of um groups, I guess, moved together in the local area and brought their own accents with them. But, you know, it all works out as long as we are, you know, stocking the shelves, to, you know, as in stocking people, you know. But, um, sorry, I'm in front of that one too. But, um, oh, don't know what else to say. Have a great day, John. You too. But um, I'll let you all go, and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And I, Shirley seemed to have disappeared. I hope she's still in there. But, you know, saying bye to you all, you know, love, hugs, and kisses. Bye. <laughs>